Good afternoon diecast collectors, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris and this is Liz from CRA Diecast. Thanks for dropping by this afternoon. Uh, just got one thing I've got today, it's a um, from Hot Wheels, it's their Fast and Furious 5 pack from the uh, Premium Edition. So, show you the box. Up there, it's got uh, one of these cars in there, so that'll be interesting to see. So, we'll crack this open. This one is a 95 Mazda RX-7 in this orange-red scheme with uh, nice wheels, so I'll crack that open and have a closer look. That's the card art, which looks really nice. They do a good job on their card art. So. metal body, metal base and uh, plastic tyres but uh, all in all looks quite nice. Nice orange colour, tampoed headlamps, not much detail, painted indicator lights, bit of a orange splitter down the bottom and those wheels look fairly nice for hot wheels. Nice tampos on the side, and you can see a little bit of floor mats on the front of the seats in orange, and from the rear, tampo tail lamps, twin exhaust, and uh, looks like a California number plate. All in all, she looks pretty sweet. Haven't seen the movie that this one's from. It doesn't say which movie it's from. They'll get rid of Liz, sorry. Then the next one is a Honda NSX from 2017 in silver. So that's the card art. Looks really nice in the card art. So I'll crack him out and have a look. This one's also a metal body, metal base, plastic tyres, but uh, nice multi-spoke rims on it. And this nice silver finish. And again, tampoed headlamps, nice black wash on the grill, some air vents on the hood. And some engine detail in the rear compartment. On the front has got a Acura badge, but we call it 
Honda here in Australia. Tempoed rear tower lamps and a nice lower diffuser down the bottom and some indicator lights on the left and right hand side and a nice little Acura badge as well. Can't really see much inside, it's all charcoal grey finish. But I'll pop that down next to the Mazda. And the next one looks really nice. It's a 1971 Plymouth GTX in a nice gloss black. And that looks really sweet. You can see a roll cage inside, big rubber tyres on the back and narrow tyres on the front. But yeah, it's a nice gloss black paintwork. couple of decals over the hood and front fenders and some hood pins and a nice grill silver painted headlamps but yeah that's really nice nice rims and you can see a bit of the roll cage inside and Tampo tail lamps on the rear, black bumper, nice Plymouth script on the number plate. And yeah, she's a nice looking rig. <laughs> and a bit of GTX script on the just behind the, the door panel. I'll pop that down. And the next one is a Jaguar XE Project 8 in metallic blue with a carbon fibre roof and that's got uh, nice black rim, multi-spoke rims Nice black wash on the grill, surrounded by chrome Tempoed headlamps, a big lower splitter at the bottom, nice little jag emblem on the grill, and some decals on the bonnet with the carbon fibre roof, and a big rear wing on the back. So that looks really sweet. Let's see, a bit of dash detail with the gear shifter from the rear tempo tail lamps 
flared guards and a couple of twice pipes down below. That looks really nice. Nice metallic blue, really sparkles in the sun. And the last one is Dom's Charger from 1970, the Charger RT, in a matte grey, black, blackish grey finish, chrome rims. And that looks nice as well. Big blower on the hood, chrome five spoke rims, RT decal on the door, and got a flat chrome finished grill. There's no roll cage in this one. Big fuel filler cap on the rear fender. And some tampoed tail lamps and a Dodge script in between the tail lights. But yeah, that looks a pretty mean car. I love the paintwork, flat black. I'll pop that with the rest of the crew. So that was a nice little haul today. That uh, I've never seen this premium set before. It was only new. At Target, so so that's it for this afternoon. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you like it, hit the thumbs up and share and subscribe if you wish. And Liz will say goodbye, and I'll say goodbye, and I'll see you see you on a future video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.